Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to do home theater tour number seven here. So this is a job we just recently wrapped up. It's got a uh, pretty stellar equipment list, uh, JVC, audio control, uh, clip speakers, the new Clip 1600 SW subs, things of that sort. It's got a ton of really cool LED lighting control. Uh, so that's what kind of what we're going to highlight on this video. And I'm going to start with saying this video did not film very well. The room is super dark. And I think we started from the outside, which was really bright, and the camera just didn't focus in right. Uh, I got a ton of still shots on it, so it's still a worthwhile video. It's definitely worth watching. It's got a lot of good ideas for, you know, a DIY guy or someone who's trying to build a theater. It's got some really clever, uh, neat things that were done, and I'm going to try to highlight those on this one. And uh, anyway, I hope you like it. Okay, so let's jump into this theater. So as you can see, it's just super dark. It didn't film well. Uh, this part of the filming is about a minute long, so I'm just going to narrate through it, and then I'm going to go the rest of the video with still shots and then the action shots of like the drapery, the uh, motorized shades, LED lighting. I think it'll turn out pretty good that way. Um, but as you can see, the room is pretty epic. It's got four coves, LED lighting, uh, 16 Valencia home theater seats. It's got Lutron uh, draperies on the front that are protecting the screen. It's got a true stage that you can walk up on, so you'll see that part on this video. And then it's actually got handrails on both sides of the uh, seating, and you walk down two steps and then down another two steps. So it's got quite a bit of drop on it. It was uh, actually dug out, excavated out. And so you can see here I'm hopping down the first couple steps and the next couple steps. And then again, it's so dark, but you can't see it, but there's actually four steps up onto a full stage. And that's so the customer's grandkids can go up there and play or do karaoke or something like that. And then again, you can't really see here, but all, you will on the latter part of this video, but it's got 16 seats. They're the Valencia seats with all LED lighting. We did LED lighting on each step. Uh, there's steps on both sides. And then the cove lighting again has four. So what I'm going to do is on the video, I'm going to go ahead and end it here and I'm going to do the rest with still shots and then I'll do some arrows and, and point out all the key uh, equipment on this video. So thanks a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue this video doing uh, some still shots and then I've got uh, videos within the still shots. For example, I've got the uh, Lutron shades that drop down, the drapery, the LED lighting. Uh, what you're looking at here is the right hand side of the room and it's got uh, drapery. Obviously, it's covering up a door and a window. And then that window has a Lutron uh, motorized shade. So it's a, a triathlon shade with a Luna fabric. And that's a really good shade to use for a blackout. It's got a nice matte black finish to it. So as you can see, as it drops down um, and you, you can't hear it, it's super quiet. And so that thing's dropped down. You can see how much light it's actually taken up and knocked off the room. And of course, we'll shut the drapes to get that final uh, set aside. On the next part of the video, we're going to go over the complete front stage of the room. So what you're looking at, if the uh, materials were taken away, you've got underneath the stage two Klipsch Pro 1600 SW subwoofers. So that's their new 16-inch subwoofers. We were one of the first people to buy those. So those were dropped off the customer's house, I believe, last November. And then behind the screen, we're using three THX 502 speakers. And then you might catch a glimpse on the left and right. We're using Klipsch Pro 160 in-walls. So it's got a total of six in-wall speakers, LCRs, left, center, right. Those are also in-wall. And then it's got six Atmos speakers, overhead speakers on the top. And then what you've got here and what I'm going to show you here is the, uh, the drapery closing. So this is a Lutron parting drapery system. Um, this using a drapery uh, system from Lutron using 35 volts. And then we're using Radio Raw 3 and a Pico remote to control that. And then the customer, of course, can use the remote control or their phone app as well. So let's go ahead and uh, show you that uh, drapery uh, opening and closing. And then I'll work on the rest of the video then. Okay, so as the drapes finish opening up, I'm just going to show you this view here. So this kind of shows you the rest of the Atmos speakers, surround speakers, the JVC NZ8 uh, projector. So that's actually ran by an SSF Clearline fiber cable. And then you can see kind of a peekaboo shot of the audio control rack. So in that rack is a watt box lighted power strip, an audio control XR6, a P800 
audio control 8 channel that runs the Atmos and some of the additional surround. And then the customer has a Sony Blu-ray player, Apple TV cable box, the typical uh, sources you would see in a room like this. And then lots of room for additional equipment down the road. And so let's move on to the next shot here. Okay, so what we got here is kind of a cool shot. It actually shows the uh, color changing LED stair step lights as well as the cove lights. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into a, a quick video of the color changing cove lights uh, doing maybe, you know, 10% of the colors it could do. And then now let's jump into doing the uh, stair step lights. And then last part here, as you can kind of see, what I'm doing is I'm actually walking up the stairs and this is actually the customer's uh, request to have these look kind of like the old antique uh, movie theater with a real warm white color. And that's where they'll uh, go ahead and leave the colors there for the uh, stairs. Okay, so last part of the video, I'm just going to do a couple more image shots. This is one we took that were really far back in the room. You can see all the chair lighting. We kind of set everything to blue. And then to kind of end the video, I'm just going to do our trailer. And uh, we filmed the trailer on there with sound. Uh, keep in mind, obviously, you're on YouTube. You're never going to hear the sound of a theater uh, over YouTube. But we're going to end it there. Um, if this video helped you out at all, please subscribe. Uh, still growing the channel, still working on things. Got a bunch of stuff going with our demo room and got a bunch of jobs in and out of town that are super cool. Just got to find the time to film and edit them. All right, thanks a lot.